as I said, I think it's a little premature uh, in terms of uh, an open uh, discussion here, but I certainly am available to answer uh, any of those questions, uh, some big issues that we're uh, going to be bringing back to our board September 7th uh, regarding this project. As we're saying, major use permit and reclamation plan, um, and that they submitted their mining reclamation and groundwater recharge main use permit. Did that happen recently, or did that did that happen? Did, did you just submit that? We uh, submitted. Uh, we, we got the, the number a long time ago. That's we just that, that's we just submitted the first draft of our EIR, which okay. they're going to review several times. Okay. Well, it's not out for public review yet, or okay. public comment. Correct. We're anticipating there's going to be three reviews by the county on the CIR before it even becomes public. So, and the first review is going to take no less than 45 days, if that. Okay. So I would just make that rec a suggestion to you. Is there any question from the board? Yes, Tom. Well, looking at the minutes of the June 30th meeting, the uh, El Monte Mining Reclamation Recharge Project. We haven't got this thing nailed down yet, have we? I mean, you've heard it. All kinds of questions. Absolutely. You may not right. be a project. Very early in the game, and as Mr. West <laughs> suggested, there's a lot of things that we're looking at. It looks like there may not be a project. That's, That's a possible alternative. Uh, don't use reclaimed water because if you do, you can't use it for dust control and things like that because it has to reside in the ground for six months before you can use it. So you've got a lot more problems than appears where. We're going to take, take some sand. Okay, because the whole thing was we're going to mine sand. And now it turns out it's bigger than a bread box. So your EIRs may put the squelch on it, may bring it to a screeching halt. It may not be economically feasible. Okay, and you may find out, as we've been saying for the last two years, nobody needs the sand because nobody's built it. Uh, as a uh, licensed, bonded, well really contract. As I brought up in the past, the El Monte Valley is a precious commodity. It's we've got it tore up from the SDGD power line that got forced out of our throat. Uh, water injection back into the valley, well, that's a good idea, just like Camp Pendleton. I've brought this before. But to mine the sand out there, which is actually your natural filter, you don't want to do that. And I really wish you guys would consider not mining that sand and tearing up that valley. Just leave it like it is. If you want to put settling ponds or injection wells up the valley to uh, reintroduce more water into that so that you can pump it out of the wells that you have in that valley, along with the other hundreds of wells that are in there that the community uses that has out there, that, that would be acceptable. But please stay away from mining that. Here, here. here. The sand mine. <laughs> when, they dig, when they dig a big hole, downstream from the dam and they put in all the ponds and they do all the reclamation and spend all their millions of dollars doing that. The first time the dam overflows, it's gonna wash what's up ahead of it down into their hole and destroy the whole thing. And it'll all be for naught. There's really no reason to change the grade. Um, and I'm thinking of bringing suit against the county for dereliction of their Samara is Surface Mining Act responsibilities uh, and putting us all in competition with each other at the same time when it's already a starving bait market. Uh, Bob and I have been working on new permits for over seven years now. I've spent over a million dollars. I still don't have a permit. Bob still don't have a permit. And now they're entertaining giving another guy a permit. Lakeside Land is still reclaiming their spot. I'm still reclaiming my spot. Bob will have to reclaim his spot. And they claim they don't need to reclaim as far as filling it back in. But it still puts us all in competition for the same sales of our sands. And I think we should go in order, you know? Every, let everybody finish the reclamations in their minds. And uh, because they, when they give you 15 years for a permit and they give 20 permits, they set you up for failure. And this is my second go around at a million dollars for a new permit. And I asked for 25 years the first time and they said no. So they set you up to have to go through this procedure again. 
And they're dreamy. When they think they can move that much sand in that short amount of time, they'll be getting extension after extension and be out there for 30 years. And uh, if the county goes through, I'm going to come to you property owners, and we're going to set up a scene against the county for mismanaging their duties. And that's how I feel about that. Uh, I have no problem with your project if you just build some ponds and do it from the well, total depth of the sand that's there. There's no reason to dig it out except for the millions and millions of dollars you'll make selling it. But I don't believe you can do it in the time frame you're saying. Um, no. Um, isn't it pretty clear that the EIR is still kind of in a draft stage? Everything's still kind of murky. We don't know where exactly we're going to go. There's no real direction for this uh, nebulous project yet. And to be applying for the major use permit, which in the permit you have to spell out exactly what you're going to be doing and how. Oh, we're following the process exactly as we need to. We have defined the project. We have a project description. We have six different alternatives. And what we're studying right now is, is, is adding another alternative that might be included in the IR. In the IR. Um, and uh, as I said, we're also now looking at some change conditions from just the last couple of months. So um, that's the way the world is. When you begin EIRs, you hope you uh, have all the facts at hand. Uh, if some changes occur, you rewrite or you amend and change the EIRs. Uh, but right now, we are still in the, we haven't even have a complete first draft yet. So um, that's where we are and that's, this is a very large project, and it's going to be a very large EIR. The Lakeside Revitalization Group has a committee on the San Diego River, and we meet every month or two. Uh, we've been uh, attending meetings with other San Diego River groups, and we find that we share the value of these other groups. Um, we would like to coordinate with the other groups and with Helix on a vision for El Monte Valley that respects and celebrates its unique features, such as agriculture, recreation, and rock-dwelling wildlife such as Eagle. We invite anyone from El Monte Valley and from Felix to join us at our meetings to have a positive vision for what we would like to see in the valley, because you already know what we don't want to see in the valley. <laughs> yes, I was wondering if in the EIR the actual concerns of the valley residents are being taken into consideration. The loss of our property values, noise pollution, dust pollution, traffic jams in and out of this one road valley. Um, the complete loss of our lifestyle. Is this being considered in the EIR as well? Uh, all of the items that were uh, submitted in the notice of preparation were recorded and, we've, uh, and we were addressing those in the EIR. I'm not sure they're all exactly the ones you have, but certainly the ones that uh, were uh, uh, required to look at by the, uh, by the county through the EIR process. It's a very lengthy document and um, I think we'll cover almost everything you've, you've described. I was wondering if and when you do, and I'm praying that you don't, but if you do, how long will you, would your process and your project take? How many years? Uh, we, we look at the EIR as being a couple years long, then a year of design, and then uh, we have uh, committed to the community that it would be no longer than a total of 10 years of mining, be a, mi a year set at startup, eight years of mining, then a year uh, closing down the mine. So 10 years out there making dust and noise and machines and... Yeah, just like every other sand mining project. And yeah. Warren, in uh, the Los Angeles Basin area, they store water in the ground. They pump it into the ground for water storage. Basically, the Omani Valley, you can, it, your, your purpose is to use the reclaimed water, store it in that valley, and then repump it to use it for public use. And um, the, um, the whole thing is uh, reference to sand mining. Sand mining really shouldn't be part of your project. It should be the water storage, injection wells, per se, and, and leave the valley looking like it does and not harm it. Leave it like it is and just inject water and recycle out of it. That would be best for the community. Yeah. Appreciate your comment. September. Do you have a date for that meeting? At the September 7th. September 7th? 7 at our board meeting at 2 o'clock. Yeah. I just have one random question. Okay. I'm just kind of curious. I've never really quite understood the whole um, 
water district money thing. So if you guys go mine a whole bunch of sand and then make a whole bunch of money, because hopefully you make some money when you're doing it selling sand, then does all the people's salaries get to go up higher? I mean, will you all of a sudden have like a big salary jump? Do you know what I mean? Like, because don't you can't make, are you limited on profits? We're, we're a public entity. We are a government. So, right. uh, so salaries could, salaries very much could go up there. Well, well, the way we are set up, which is like mm -hmm. most governments are, is that we have salary structures for they all are. of our employees. We're, we don't uh, make a profit off of our customers and then give bonuses to our employees. You don't. We don't do that. No, not like a private company might do. Well, I mean, county gives bonuses to their people. Uh, we so. don't give any bonuses to our employees. And but that could change. The idea with the sand was it was going to help offset part of the cost of the reclamation project. Uh -huh. That was why we had looked at the sand. But I mean, money-wise, I just wonder what, what, you know what I mean? If you penciled out this and penciled out that, and then there was just like this gigantic millions of dollars left, I was just wondering what happened would happen because it oftentimes doesn't get passed on to the ratepayer. You know what I mean? It gets somehow a new program, new cars, new... I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's not our plan. Our plan is any money we make off the sand goes into the project cost. Okay, thank you.